Hey, it's Mary Beth down at Capers. You know, it's deviled egg season. And so I want to show you how we do deviled eggs down at Capers. We do them the easy way. We use the dash egg cooker and this handy little device will allow you to make boiled eggs. You can make poached eggs. You can make an omelet in this thing. We almost exclusively use it for this. The way you start is with the little cup that comes with it. It's marked with um, gradations for um, soft boiled, medium boiled, and hard boiled. I'm an old person, so I went ahead and took a Sharpie. And uh, when I first got it, I marked the different cooking levels. So um, I know what they are. So I know that for hard boiled eggs, I fill it up to right here and I dump that into the egg cooker. Then I take the other end of the little cup and I prick my eggs with it. And uh, once I have the hole in those, I'm gonna put it small side of the egg down in the device. So you see that it cooks six eggs at once and it's got a simple on off switch. The way it works is it senses when the water is gone. And since you've put in enough water for it to cook to the hard boiled stage, then when that water is gone, these eggs are gonna be hard boiled. One of the things I like about this is it makes an audible noise and it keeps making it when it's done. So you can't forget that you were cooking eggs and go off, not that it would cause a big problem if you did. Now, that's only one way that we do it. The other way is uh, fun because it is the beep egg and you store the beep egg wherever you store your eggs. So if you have a farm and some chickens and you're keeping them out on the kitchen counter at room temperature, which you can do if you haven't washed them, then uh, you store your beep egg there. If you're city folk or don't have chickens um, and you keep your eggs in the refrigerator, store your beep egg in the refrigerator. And the way this works is you throw your beep egg and your eggs into a pan covered uh, with cold water up to about an inch above the eggs and then you put them on to boil. When the eggs reach the soft boiled stage, it plays one little tune. When it reaches the medium boiled stage, it plays a different tune and the hard boiled stage yet a different tune. So the legend on the back tells you what uh, level of doneness each of those mean. I love the, uh, the chicken beep egg edition and it plays Farmer in the Dell. Old McDonald and Turkey in the Straw. So when that song is played that corresponds to the level of doneness you want, you just go in there and you drain your eggs. Now I uh, have already prepared some eggs in another of the Dash egg cookers and um, you saw me attach the handle to the little tray that the eggs sit on. Well, that comes in handy because then you can take all your eggs out at once. If you aren't doing that, if you're using the beep egg, you might want to get one of our food pods and you can put all your eggs in. It's got plenty of holes to allow the water and the heat to circulate and then you pull it out all at once and you can even hook it over something in order to let the water drain out and you can rinse them in here. So it depends on which way you're doing it. But doing it in the um, dash egg cooker, you see this, if you use a little white vinegar, you'll be able to clean that out. The residue just uh, isn't a big deal. So then it's time to peel the eggs. And here at Capers, we have a couple of ways to do that too. I believe that uh, that another time we showed you the egg stripper. This is designed to peel up to five eggs in under 10 seconds. You put the eggs into this and a little bit of water up to the fill line and you just shake 
and peel. So since we've demonstrated that in another video that we've done, I want to show you the exact peel. And a lot of people don't understand exactly how to use this. So I want to show you the technique. You, you've got this ceramic blade here, and it's sharp, but not overly sharp. Don't get freaked about it. You're going to, ooh, didn't know my own strength there. You're going to use it to press down on the egg like that. And then the curved end of it allows you to stick this under the membrane You've got the egg shell and then you've got the membrane and this allows you to stick it under the membrane and then pull the egg out. So um, I won't get so carried away with this one. And often you can go around, some people make the mistake of just cracking it on one side. If you go ahead and you crack it around the perimeter you're going to find that it gets it off generally uh, in two big pieces very easily. You don't even have to rinse because you don't have any eggshells stuck to it. So um, next you're ready to make the deviled eggs. I have put my mayo in, my sweetener, and then it's decision time because what else do we want in there? and everybody's a little different. I always like to add uh, just a dash of salt, which I did. And then on your mustards, we have the Saucy Mama mustard, creamy garlic, backyard brat, and we have several other flavors too. If my husband were here, he likes a heartier grain mustard, so I'm pretty sure he would put the backyard brat in it, but you know, when I'm left unsupervised, I get to do it the way I want to do it, and I really like the creamy garlic. Now, the other thing that I like that appeals to anybody who likes the combination of sweet and a little bit hot is we have the Capers Candied Jalapenos. We're in the Ninja or you can just use them for garnish. Even if you whir some of them into your uh, egg batter in the Ninja, I would recommend that you also put one on top for garnish because it's like a caution sign to people. If they see a slice of jalapeno on top, even the poor little pointy-headed ones among your friends and relatives are likely to think to themselves, oh, there's a jalapeno slice on there, Maynard. This may be a little bit spicy. So um, it, that's the kind of garnish that makes sense with what you're doing. I am experimenting for the first time, and you know, this is not something that a person should do, but this is a bagel slicer that we sell. And anytime you can make a kitchen gadget do more than one thing, it is a beautiful thing. So um, I got lucky, it worked. I didn't embarrass myself on video. I want you to look at something. Every single egg is perfect. Have you ever made hard boiled eggs to make deviled eggs or something and had them turn green or had that green uh, line around them? Well, they aren't nearly as appetizing and your deviled eggs aren't going to turn out a beautiful shade of sunny yellow if you have that kind of green mixed in. So it's because of the magic of the Dash egg cooker knowing exactly when to stop the cooking that you get it just right. So we're putting our egg yolks in here. A lot of the time I'll make one extra egg because I want my deviled eggs to be full. I don't like them when they're just flat on the surface. So you have two choices. Either you put too much mayo and mustard in so that you can produce more volume, or you uh, 
throw an extra egg yolk in there. So I'm doing the extra egg yolk thing. You're used to me pulsing with the Ninja, but when you're, when you're mixing something, you're going to want to just mash on it and whir. And you're gonna put it in this. It's a Kuhnra Cone cake decorating thing. It's used to decorate cakes, used to decorate cookies. But today, we put a big fat um, tip on it so that we can put our egg mixture inside here. So you just pipe it out and make it pretty. You know, people who love kitchen gadgets know that they allow you to save time. They allow you to do things that maybe you couldn't do easily another way. And um, they make it a little more fun, a little more special. So I wanted to just show you today how we do eggs at Capers. So lots of different things to meet your needs. Come on down and get some at Capers Emporium. We're the happy place to shop. Oh darn. I wanted you to hear that tone so you know when the eggs are done.